Good evening everyone, it's Tim and today I'm unboxing a Japan crate. Uh, this is the first time I've gotten one of these. It's a monthly subscription service where you get candy. This is their original box. They also have a mini and a uh, premium box. I think in the future I'll get the premium box. Comes with about uh, twice as much as what comes in the original box. Uh, came with this little card, tells me everything that's in there, all three different boxes. Looks like it might have three or four different types of bubble gum, so I think we'll actually uh, do that as a snacking in the future snacking episode, me and Ralph. So let's see what we got. Uh, first thing is this uh, Ramu Marble Bubble Marble Gum. Uh, it's a citrusy, delicious, flavored bubble gum. It's like the soda. We tried it in the previous uh, Snack on Japan. With a small hint of fizziness to get that real soda taste. So that'll be interesting. We'll do that in one of the snacking episodes. We got a big bar. White chocolate big bar Z. Uh, it says these are sort of like the giant Kit Kats. Soaked in smooth, delicious white chocolate. Never seen these before. Go ahead and give it a try. Hmm. Looks like a churro. You know what those are? Looks just like a churro. So let's give it a try. I think it's where it tastes like a churro too. It's, a, it's like a white chocolate churro. Got a little gang grape. Hmm. It says it's a bubble gum that starts out like pop rocks that becomes a grape gum. So again now we'll do that in that snacking episode. And you got this one called a red portion black portion. Okay, it looks like it's uh, two pieces of bubble gum in there that turn your, that change the color of your tongue. One portion makes your tongue red, other portion makes your tongue black. Yeah, see it's like little tiny sticks. This could be one of two different bars. They have a soy sauce maki and a white pea chips. Uh, this would be the soy sauce maki. So it says it's wrapped in edible rice paper. Let's go ahead and give it a try, see how it tastes. Yeah, it's more like it. So that's what it looks like. This is that edible rice paper they're talking about. You can tell just by the feel of it, it's really sticky. Of course, it has soy sauce. Doesn't have any type of smell though. Let's go ahead and give it a try. It's interesting. It's really soft. It has a nice texture to it. Works with the rice paper. Uh, it does have a slight soy sauce aftertaste, but mostly all I can taste is the rice paper. I can't really taste anything when chewing it. it just has a little bit of an aftertaste of soy. Which I'm happy about is where he's gonna have a strong soy flavor. But it didn't. There you go. A Chaco Kineko Maki DIY kit. I'm sure I'm butchering that. That's what it looks like. I like these little DIY kits. I haven't tried any of them. This one looks like it's be pretty simple to make. Make little uh, unique chocolate makis. Just add water. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to just do this in its own episode. Uh, probably on Friday. I think that sounds like a good day. So we'll see that in the future. Next thing we have. Easy spot with Kirby on the front here. Is the Kirby Blend Blend Mix Gum. 
Oh well. So this is more gum, so we'll try this on a snacking episode. Next thing we have is some Pocky. I love these. Pocky, I haven't tried this flavor though. A chocolate banana. Banana cream covered chocolate biscuit sticks. Yeah, so I can give those a try. Never had Pocky. I highly suggest it. It's one of the easier things to find in the States too. If you're here in America. Wow, you can really smell that banana. So it looks like the cookie's made out of chocolate. It has a banana on top. It's a pretty strong artificial banana flavor. Uh, but works real good with the chocolate biscuit. The next thing we have is Talking Puppy Chocolate. A little puppy dog on the outside there. It says a cute crispy rice chocolate bar with a cute puppy on the package and a heat activated puppy pun joke on the inside. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So that's the card they're talking about. My sister loves dogs, so I'll probably have to give this to her. It's a Norwick Terrier. We'll give the chocolate a try first. I have noticed that it seems a lot of stuff from Japan use this real thin foil, which I like. And they're all folded the same way. Which I think makes it real easy to open. I wish more chocolate was packaged like that. Yeah. That's what it looks like. See a little rice crisp in the back there. It tastes like a dark chocolate Nestle Crunch bar. Which I like dark chocolate. So I like it. I've been really happy with all the stuff I got. So now let's see this doggy pun here. Of course the problem is... Warmed up. I get read Japanese, so I don't know if you can read it. Might have to translate that. Yeah, it's a neat little candy. It says there's also a bonus item in this box, which is supposed to be in this bag, but it's kind of by itself. I noticed the bag empty when I first opened it. It has one of ten Totoro figures from a, the My Neighbor Totoro uh, anime series. Don't know the name of this one. Yeah, that's a nice little extra. Now if I had the premium box, it would have a soda with it. Also have a Magic Bubble Jelly DIY kit. Happy Pog Gummy. Uh, Maki uh, green tea, Pedro. Uh, Pedro, it's it's a lot like the uh, Pokey sticks, except the says except the coat instead of the coating on the outside, it's actually on the inside of the stick. Of course, it's green tea, which I don't really care for the green tea stuff, and the green tea Kit Kats, which I already tried in the previous episode. So I'm actually kind of happy I didn't get the premium box on this one. Although I'm looking forward to it next next uh, month. All right. Have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow. Bye.